How to use an outside micrometer is a four-part series. This is part one, introduction and terminology. Parts two, three, and four cover reading inch and metric micrometers, accuracy, adjustments, and maintenance. The micrometer is built around a frame with a fixed anvil to the left and a numbered scale sleeve to the right. The measured value is the distance between the fixed anvil face and the spindle face that moves when turning the thimble. It's good practice to clean the measuring faces before using. Gently close the micrometer on a clean piece of paper, then slowly pull it out. To make a measurement, hold the part with your left hand and position it against the anvil face. Then hold the micrometer with your right hand and turn the thimble counterclockwise until the spindle face contacts the part. Reliable repeatability depends on applying uniform pressure from one measurement to the next. Micrometers have either friction thimble or ratchet stop speeder to help ensure uniform pressure. Move the thimble with your right hand, thumb, and index finger on the friction thimble or ratchet stop. Don't use excessive force. Light but firm contact pressure ensures accurate measurements. When measuring a stationary or fixtured part, make note of your measurement before removing the micrometer if possible. If your view is obstructed, lock the spindle by turning the lock nut counterclockwise. Then hold the micrometer by its frame, carefully slide it off the work, and note your measurement before unlocking. Now that you know the basics, the next step is learning how to read measurements. Parts 2 and 3 of this series will teach you how to read inch and metric micrometers.